At the moment, the Crook County School District bond is not passing with 52% of the count counted ballots not in favor of the $66 million bond measure. If it does not pass, the communications director for the school district told me the district may consider an alternative proposal for voters. It's a money measure nearly split down the middle. I think we should invest in education and invest in our children. Being that my husband and I are on a fixed income now that we're retired, it was not something that we felt that we could support. Kirk County School District Communications Director Jason Carr is not surprised by the early results. When you're talking about any community going out and asking for folks to spend money on, you know, anything related to a tax increase, um, even for folks that support schools, it might be something that they think, you know, twice about. Eight Crook County schools are included in the $66 million bond measure, plus the Ward Road and Stadium, where Crook County High School plays football and runs track and field. Projects include replacing the roof at Crook County Middle and Crooked River Elementary, a new sports surface at Brothers Elementary, and building new restrooms at the stadium, improvements some voters were not in favor of. There's a lot of people that live here that have lived here for a long time and they are retired. And a lot of us are on fixed income, so this school bond would have a major impact on their uh, annual income. Larry Nelson's granddaughter goes to Kirk County High School. I am hoping that there's a tremendous amount of, of votes that will come in late those way that bond. Some voters say if the bond amount were smaller, it may have a better chance of passing. It only failed by 174 votes so far, so there's lots of room for a middle ground. If it wasn't asking for so much, I'd consider it. Which is what the school board will need to decide and could possibly do either in the November election or next May. If it ends up failing, at some point we're going to have to come back to voters and say, you know, what is going to work for you because we have some basic maintenance needs that have to be taken care of. There are still a few hundred uncounted ballots in Crook County, so the measure could still pass. Jason Carr hopes most of those ballots that were turned in late are from younger voters who may have children in the school district's classrooms. The Crook County, the Crook County clerk tells me they still have at least about 300 more ballots to count.